Bob Williams, you know, the owner of Surfside Wrestling. He's the main guy that's bringing up youth wrestlers, you know, state champions, national champions. Bob, so can you tell us a little bit about Surfside Wrestling? Well, Surfside Wrestling was, uh, it was actually started about 12 years ago by a gentleman, uh, re actually an Olympic referee named uh, John Mata. Um, and then basically, I believe he moved back to Texas and uh, Jimmy McLaughlin, who is the president of the club, then brought me aboard and we've uh, began growing a phenomenal system of wrestling. Uh, let me ask you a question. What's your philosophy when it comes down to wrestling? Well, just to keep the kids motivated and tough, I like to keep a busy room. Um, I also like to keep a, a room that is filled with uh, great resources uh, for wrestling. You know, like, you know, I'm not the best techni technician, but I, I bring in basically like my brother Joe Williams, uh, Tank Knowles, and we have, we're for very fortunate to have uh, Olympian Joe Gonzalez. Um, so we basically create a resource for the kids that they would get nowhere else. You know, we, we create a very motivating and uh, progressive system of wrestling that, you know, ultimately has worked in the past to develop state champions and national champ wrestlers. Is there any chance that we probably might see this club in the future, like in uh, LA County, probably Riverside County? You know what, as far as uh, growing it, we'll probably stay on the side of the surf, you know, anybody by the beach. Maybe, Orange Ryan, County, maybe, right? maybe my boy Ryan Halsey up, up by, uh, I believe he's in Paso Robles. Um, I'd like him to maybe come on board. Uh, that'd be fun because they're, they're right off the coast there. So I was going to ask you also, I noticed you took a lot of kids to the Southwest Kickoff Classic in Vegas. Can you tell us a little bit of how many kids you guys placed in the tournament? We placed every everyone that we took uh, placed. We only took a small group, about six, six or seven. But all of them were were, were place winners, right? Yes, everyone. Um, any champions in the tournament? Nah, a couple kids came close. They won their consolation bracket, but yeah, that's about it. Can you tell us right now who's a, some of your kids that are close to getting to the high school level that you think are going to make an impact? In the wrestling team? Uh, right now, uh, the oldest kid that we have is a kid named Joey Daniel. Joey Daniel is about 200 plus pounds. Um, he took second in Reno uh, multiple times, state champion, uh, multiple times state placer. He's pretty tough right now. We flew him out to wrestling prep. Uh, Carolyn took care of him and uh, he ended up placing third uh, at the Mikkels. But that's kind of our our eighth grader that we're looking to. He, he's looking around the area. Oh, okay. Between like Calvary Chapel and uh, Fountain Valley, I think, in Santa Ana. So let me ask you, how does it feel to have Tank Nose and your brother Joe and Joe Gonzalez teaching technique to the kids? Dude, I get to sit back, just put my hands behind my head and enjoy the enjoy the weather. You know, it's like the most phenomenal group to work with. It's Bar none, the best group I've I've been in touch with or been a part of. Yo, Bob, thank you so much for doing this interview with us. Yeah. Really appreciate it. And thanks a lot for inviting us to, to, to come here and see your club. Thanks, thanks a lot. Man. Appreciate it.